Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steve's. And today, chums, I'm going to be hitting up No Man's Sky on my PC. Now, I did start a save on this, but I only got a minute in before I realised that I hadn't actually hit record on my PC. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to be starting all over again, people inside the viewers. I guess I am. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just actually just deleting my old save at the moment as we speak, people. Boom. So, yeah, I got a new game. Right, I'm going to jump on over into game then, and hopefully you'll be joining me. Here we go, chicka pow, and piece of game in. Chicka pow, done, done, and done. Right, so here we go, let's hit on up, play game, and you can see here, eight days remaining. I'm going to hit on up the expedition, there's a reason why I'm hitting up the expedition, people. Uh, it's got quite a fair bit of new lore in it, so I figured I might as well do this expedition. Warning, community expeditions do not include a tutorial, I think I'll be okay. I'll be alright. So here we go, let's jump into game. This starfield takes ages. I'll be right with you. Where did I get to the initialization screen, peeps? Right oh, so I'm at the initialization screen. That took a month of Sundays. I'm already missing my PlayStation 5, people. I guess I am. But this has got an SSD inside of my PC. But it's really freaking slow. Okay, well, you all know this intro piece just takes freaking ages. And I'm just going to go into my actual settings, my network settings, and turn off multiplayer. I'll be right back with you when I can actually move around and start doing stuff, people, inside the viewerverse. Heck yes. Righto, people. Well, I'm back inside of game. And look, I'm a traveller. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that wonderful? Right, well, anyway, let's pop into here. Let's select the first freaking missions. And let's scan a cake for whatever... Boom, scandal is scan. Right oh, now it should take me over there. There we are. And we'd head on over to that and we'd hit on up the little autophage. Now, you guys have seen me run this expedition like countless freaking times, but we're probably going to get a little bit of lore off this first one, so I might as well do it. So we go, let's jump on in. Here we are then. And a probe damage registers. Here we go, chicka boom, register diddly d. Five minus. 15, no, 4 minus 15 is what? 11, 11, 1, and 7. 11, 1, 7. 11, 1, 7. Let's go put that one in. Here we go. 11, 1, 7. 11, 1, 7. Boom. Will it be, will it be 11? 1 and 7. Boatman and boat face. Boat in your face, sir. A faint hiss escapes the autophage. Rusty shell. Smoking date event. Blah, de, blah, de, blah. Chickaboom! Not much lore to be had there, really, people. Here we go. Kazert arose from the dirt construct of pure will. Pure will, you say? Hmm. Don't think there's anything there to be had, to be fair. When it comes to the old lore, brilliant, eh? Download with navigational coordinates. Dundalee and done. So there we go. They hear us. Autophage. 5765. You can, you can sort of... Um, translate all of that sort of stuff and it does spell messages out we've done actually an arg deep dive law sort of thing which i'll put up there people now the main reason that i was going to be doing this expedition is to get myself all of the glyphs and also to have a really powerful mining laser so if you're not too sure what i'm on about with the mining laser um i'll grab one in a second because at the moment i've got a multi-tool right now this one over here when it actually goes over r1 here we are i'm going to take this tech out of there so take that out stick that over into there and if i go over to this console here and do another little maths puzzle yeah another maths puzzle people here we go let's uh, get the gco of maths into my old head you see you've got red text and purple text there red text i think is that of the atlas whereas the purple text i think is that of the void mother and void prime but anyway let's jump into here scan memory fragments here we go two minus one is one five plus one is six so one six ah uh, one six twelve one six twelve one six twelve here we go let's put that in then there we go one six and twelve one six and twelve chicka boom dun dilly dun let me in heck yes and we can unseal the multi-tool but not only that we can actually find a sentinelized ship not that i'm going to go repair the ship just yet anyway but there we are we, we'll put that out there anyways chicka boom Lovely, jubbly people inside all of your us. Now, I don't know where I'm going to be putting in reasonable stopping points in this little playthrough. I mean, I want to try and get 
the expedition done within the next eight days before the expedition ends. The only trouble is with that, people, is I'm going to be away for a few days. And, uh, yeah, I'm taking a little bit of a break, so I might not get this expedition done in those eight days. Who knows? And also, I'm playing um, The Outer Worlds, which I'm quite enjoying at the moment, people. So there's there's that, too. Anyway, let's pick up this multi-tool. I'll take said multi-tool. Thank you very much, indeedy doody. Heck yes. We're going to go in. We're just going to pop that badge as well. Lovely. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. And let's see if we can find some rust inside one of these little um, wheelbarrows around here, people. Let's see if we can get some rust. Give me some rust. I want some rust. It's very rare that you run around asking the world for rust, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it's so shooting some rocks is basically what I'm guessing at. We might get some rust if we're super lucky. There's some rust. Right, OK, well, I'm going to get that rust. And I'm going to stick that inside of my um, little refiner there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to install that inside of my a new multi-tool, Chikapal. And I'm going to make room for the laser to be installed. So if I put that there, boom. OK, I'll show you put that there and stick that on there. I'm already getting a bit of a boost on the old stats there. But now if I go into here and create that mining tool as well, Chikapal, and just get some ferrite dust, which I'm going to get from the rust anyway. But to actually fuel that rust, I need to zap some freaking carbon. So let's start zapping some carbon, shall we? Ha 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 ha! Is it really? And there we go, jikaboom. Now this hijacked laser is super freaking efficient, but right now it's not even tickling that plant. All right, well, we'll tickle this one instead. Take that, you plant. Of course, get a load of carbon. You see, there's, it's overheating my multi-tool, that little bar above my head up there. You know, you know what, 95%. It's going quite slowly anyway. But you watch how slow it goes and how quickly I can incinerate stuff after I tweak the mining tool. One second, let's just pop this little guy. Come on. And zap. Goodbye carbon. And that should do enough. And then if I go into here, where are you? Exosuit, personal refiner, this one here. Chuck some carbon into there. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's only really going to give me 94. I'm going to be six short on the old frickin's. Oh, uh, ferrite dust. I need some more ferrite dust. I'm shooting rocks, but they're not real rocks. They're just sort of like there for eye candy purposes. There we go. That should give me enough on the old um, ferrite dust. We've got some sort of on its way now. Radiant shard. I need a, a, an advanced mining laser for that. All right. Well, we might as well hit up this one and start making our way to the ship. Where are you, ship? Ship is down and underneath us somehow, people. Am I going to go and jump off a blinking cliff? Is that what the game is telling me to do? Is it trying to tell me something? Well, this cliff face looks a bit freaking shoddy, doesn't it? Oh, my days. Oh, fudge. This is going to end up killing me. Oh, for fudge's sake. Seriously? Okay, right. I'll just keep to the side, Steve. Keep to the side. Don't fall or else you're going to die. Look, I'm taking damage. Right. Okay. Easy does it. Easy does it. Stand on this mushroom for a while. Okay, cool. Right, well, I can see my ship all the way over there. Let's take a running jump. Oh, that's not much of a jump. Fudge. Okay, I'm going to start rolling down the mountain and taking damage if I'm not careful. Oh, right, well, we've landed right by a cave mouth here, people. So if I have head into said cave, we do need to get ourselves some cobalt. So let's go inside the cave. Let's just grab some cobalt while we're inside of here. Cobalt, cobalt, where are you? There's one. Don't say there's only one cobalt in this whole freaking cave. That'd be a loss, wouldn't it? Okay, well, there's a bit more. There's a bit more. We'll just grab this cobalt here, people. Then I'd head on down to my ship. Now, there's quite a lot of resource gathering to do. Uh, I do want to let you guys enjoy this whole playthrough of my PC save. Especially if you're new to No Man's Sky. At least you can follow my guide, can't you, I suppose? So, I was half thinking then, people, to just cut out all the boring bits. But you know what? Sod it. It's going to be a proper playthrough with as little editing as possible, people inside of the viewer. Verse. So, you know, if you're an avid viewer to my channel, I don't know whether you're going to enjoy this because you've seen me do this a few times now. But anybody new to No Man's Sky, I think this could be quite beneficial. Oh, we haven't actually installed that uh, new part for my multi tool, have we? So, if we take that out of there, I should have enough on the old. Uh, Ferrite dust now, peeps. So let's go on over here. Let's get that installed. Pow. And yeah, lovely. We've got a little bit of a boost on overheat cooldown time. But when I get out of this cave, 
Hold on. I don't remember this cave being this deep. Have I gone up a different... I think I've gone up a different part of the cave, people. There's loads of cobalt inside of here. Well, might as well get some more cobalt while we're in there, then, mightn't we? Lovely jubbly mining cobalt. Boom, boom. Mining cobalt. Boom, boom. Actually, you can, you can see how quickly I'm mining stuff now. That's just freaking super quick, isn't it? Isn't that awesome? Freaking is, mate. So yeah, once I've actually managed to get through all of this expedition, I'm going to end up with a really cool multi-tool at the end of it. Now I have turned down all my texture quality peeps, because I did try doing a, a another playthrough of this while I was recording it, and uh, the actual textures and everything were on a slightly higher setting. I mean, that looked a little bit shite, didn't it, to be honest, those particle effects. But when I was streaming using the old Streamlabs, I was getting a fair bit of frame drop to the point where it looked like I was staggered when I was talking. In fact, it's doing it now. I just saw it out the corner of my eye. It's still mucking about. So part of me is wondering. I mean, I was thinking of testing this anyway to see how it goes with doing sort of like video capture at the same, same time as playing. I mean, the actual gameplay is fine, isn't it? It just seems to be my camera and my lip syncing that's probably slightly off. And this is what I'm thinking is going to be the case when it comes to doing uh, Starfield footage on my channel, people. So this is my concern. I am wondering whether I might need to grab myself an Xbox 360 after all, maybe reshuffle all my desk around and uh, try and fit another console on my blinking desk rather than put up a shelf, because I'm, I'm not that great at DIY, to be honest, people. Even though I built a pagoda the other day, if you didn't see that, I took a little short video on it on my channel, I guess. Let's how I do all this. That's in the garden, though. It's a little bit wonky, but no one really minds, because it's just going to have plants all over it. Anyway, I'm going to suck up all of this stuff, this dehydrogen, so I can make dehydrogen jelly when I get back to my ship, because that's something that we definitely need. On the way there, I'm going to zap some purple crystals as well, because there is actually a sub sort of um, patch or milestone during the expedition to shoot a shed ton of this stuff and get a whole boatload of it. Now, you can take to the sky in your ship and just shoot the planet and get a load of that stuff, so that's all cool. There is also a milestone inside of this expedition to go underwater and get yourself some of that um, sulfide, the, the crystallized sulfide stuff. The only thing is, all the lakes around here are extremely shallow. I mean, there's, there's, there's one just down here, but it's really shallow. Uh, there's no way there's going to be any in, inside there. I might have to go to a deeper planet, but I can do that later on during this actual playthrough. It's not, it's not needed at this stage. So yeah, I'm going to take to the sky in a bit, people, once I've got my ship fixed, and just shoot the planet for resources, get all the basic resources, get myself a load of carbon, a load of ferrite, now, I do need to try and purchase Kate, some circuit boards at some point, so I do need some extra units. So, yeah, I could shoot some asteroids, or I could just shoot more of the planet. Um, if I'm lucky, there might be a system, or well, there might be a planet that's got ancient bones in this system. We'll have to have a look, see, people. I'll have a look at the uh, galactic map in a bit, because if there is, that's always a good way to make a shed ton of units. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at the old Discoveries page, shall we, people? Let's see if there are any inside of this system that have got ancient bones on them. Um, the planet that I'm on now doesn't. Nope. Nope. Ancient bones. Yeah, the ring planet has got ancient bones on it, people. So I might go visit there, get a little bit of cashola's. Anyway, let's uh, head on over this way. Oh, I might as well get some of that as well. Heck yes. A little bit of condensed carbon. Lovely. Everyone likes condensed carbon. Definitely. Grab myself some of the ferrite dust, hook yours, smashing some more purple crystals. But yeah, like I say, I'm going to shoot the planet, and then I'm going to go over to that ringed planet, and dig up some ancient bones, and get a load of moolah before I go to the space station. That's the plan anyway, people. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just do one step at a time, shall we? Jump over here. Let's see if I can craft that hermetic seal. Might as well pop all of those. Hermetic seal. Can I make the hermetic seal? Yes, I can. Chicka pal. Going to need a couple of metal platings, so I need to get some more ferrite dust on the way down this hill. So I might as well shoot some more boulders as we go. Chicka boom. Yeah, I think we need a couple of metal platings. I think it's like four or something. We might even need some carbon nanotubes at some stage. I don't think I need them to get off the planet. I don't think I do. I might do. I might need some pure ferrite as well at some stage. So I'm going to grab extra ferrite dust just in case I have to spin some into 
pure ferrite. In fact, I'm fairly sure I need some pure ferrite for the launch thrusters. So we get a load of ferrite right now. Just shoot all these boulders. Lovely, lovely boulders. Take that, boulders. Cool. Might as well get some oxygen from killing this hazardous flora. Chikapow. Lovely. Burn that. Another hazardous flora over there. Zap him into oblivion. Okay, that then that depleted. Zap! Die! Get some more carbon for the carbon that I just used. 60 of it. Thank you very much. And I might as well get some more of this blue stuff for dehydrogen and dehydrogen jelly, because why not? Of course. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And zap that. Boom. Another one of them. Zap that. And we're nearly at my ship. And I think it's a solar ship. I think every single player gets a solar ship as their first ship. Of course. Yeah, look at that. Isn't it a beauty? It's even my logo colours, the red and white. Freaking nice. A bit of black on it. Golio! That's pretty darn sweet. Now, there are Gravitino balls on this planet. And Gravitino balls sell for quite a lot. The only thing is, if you hit a Gravitino ball, it's going to call in the Sentinels. Something I would say, people, is every single time that you pop an Expedition reward, draw in this Expedition, it actually gives you pretty useful stuff. And a lot of the stuff, if you're not going to use it, don't sell it, because a lot of it you're going to be using. You're going to be, I'm hitting up this, mainly to give myself a navigational dot, just in case I need one, not that I do, but just in case. You'll see it pop up in a minute, it's in the top right corner. Navigational data, it should appear just above my head. Boom, there we go. Got navigational data for free. Right, oh, let's uh, jump in my ship. Jump out of my ship. That's going to create a little save. Plus, also, now we know that the lawn thrusters are broke. And now that I've got to my ship, does that actually give me another badge? I can't remember whether it does or doesn't. Anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, ransack this and grab that, because that's always good to spin into uh, ferrite dust in this early game. Cool. We've got a little Gek Relic. Nice. Everyone loves a freebie. Heck, freebie, yes! Okay, right. Well, we need to fix this. Yes, we need some pure ferrite. So if I go back over here and get my ferrite dust, ferrite dust, I've got quite a lot of ferrite dust. Might as well chuck the whole lot in. Get that turned into pure ferrite on the go. On the bake. Cool. And I might as well make the uh, the hydrogen jelly. Go to the starship. Oh, yep. We need some metal plating as well. I've made the metal plating directly in there. Okay, it won't let me because I've just put it all into. Yes, of course I did. Whoopsie! Okay, so we're going to fix that. That's cool. We've got the pure ferrite on the go. So here we go. How much did I need? I only needed 100, so we might as well stop that. Take that out of there. Take this out of there. Might as well put the remaining rust into there. Turn that into ferrite dust while we're waiting. Lovely. And back to the starship. I can then fix that with the pure ferrite that I just undone and now I need some metal platings how many metal platings do I need was it just one or was it two I can't remember oh, just the one I think yeah we're done there we go the, the ship is all fixed the ship's all fixed and ready for takeoff people inside of the viewer verse right oh, well let's, uh, let's go take off then okay so we can launch into space well but I'm not going to go all the way to space I'm just gonna shoot the heck out of the planet for a while people just gonna fly around shooting the planet and get a few more resources boom take that oh shite I just shot my own shields off there by doing that yeah don't do that um, that hurts <laughs> there we go boom 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 get a load of ferrite get a load of carbon why not just wait for that to cool back down again boom 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 take that reheal boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. oh look at all that look at all that I'm, I'm almost tempted to land for all of that. If that was oxygen, I would. It um, has a protection -y stuff. But yeah, that's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just going to shoot the planet for a little bit longer. Um, mainly, actually, I don't really need to, because I'm going to go and fly on over to that Bones planet. Now, if there was a bigger lake than that, that was a lot deeper, I'd be half tempted to land and get the crystallized sulfate now, but there's no real point, people. Let's take on off into the sky, and we're going to go to the ringed planet, and I'm going to go and dig up some ancient bones, people, inside the view of us. Oh, 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 I think we've got out. Oh, I thought it crashed then, people. I thought we got a crash. Anyway, I think that's going to pop a badge, isn't it? There we are, the Wayfarer. Fuck yours. So I'm going here, chicka bow. I'll have that, thank you very much. Hypercores, lovely. Repackaged teleporter unit, nice. 
Right, ringed planet, ringed planet, where are you? Bum bum bum. You're not the ringed planet, you're the one I just took off from. There you are. Right, well, let's head on over there then. Let's go get ourselves some ancient bones, people. So, yeah, I'm going to go land on this planet. Once I get to this planet, I'm going to dig up some ancient bones and I'll reconvene with you then, people inside the viewerverse. Right, chums, well, I've arrived located on this lovely planet that's got the ancient bones. I've got my cup of tea in hand. Oh, yummy. And we're coming down to land. Oh, my days, it's got honey all over it. So we can actually get loads of honey from this as well. You know, I was shooting the planets earlier to get stuff, but this one will actually give me sticky honey. And sticky honey, I think, sells for a fair bit. But then again, look, I'm shooting the heck out of these rocks. I'm not exactly the best shot. But, um, yeah, I'm shooting them, and it's... There you go. It takes a lot of shots to actually take these out. I mean, that's doing no damage to that one. So, yeah, maybe it's not the best idea shooting this planet. I'm going to crash into that, aren't I? Yeah, I thought so. Right, anyway, let's just land and let's go dig up some bones, because digging up bones is going to give me a heck of a lot more money than honey. Um, Yeah, I'm still seeing the frame skips on me and also the little bit of lip sync this is a little this is a little bit weird you see i played no man's sky with some really strong mods on what why why are sentinels investigate no leave me alone I, i'm good it wasn't me it was somebody else it was my twin yeah okay anyway let's head on over this way and let's see if we can we can see any um ancient bones anywhere ancient bones ancient bones where are you ancient bones Ancient bones. They've got a yellow marker. But you know what? There's so many frame drops happening on this that I'm kind of in two minds whether I should continue on with doing this. I'm going to do episode one, and then I think I'll put a poll up or something and let you guys in the in the viewerverse suggest what I do. Because at the moment, you can see here, the texture quality is a bit naff. And I've turned this all the way down. I just don't think it's all that well optimised, to be honest. I mean, my PC is a good PC. It's either that, or I haven't got enough RAM in my PC or something, I don't know. But I've, I've limited the frame, the frame rate to 60 frames per second. I've turned the textures right down, as you can probably tell. But you know what? When I had this on the Ultra settings, it was running exactly the same. Exactly the same. So it was still doing what my camera's doing now. But you see the gameplay in the background, it's fairly smooth, isn't it? So I'm wondering whether it's just because my webcam's going and everything else is going that it's got a bit of a problem. Because normally I'm streaming from my PlayStation. And this is what's making me think, maybe I need just need to get an Xbox One um, for when I do um, yeah, the old Starfield. Because I could have the same problem. What the? Where the fudge did they come from? They're a little ele elephant guys. They're quite cute though, aren't they? Yeah, uh, can always get one of those to ride around on. Oh gosh, so it's walking everywhere. But you see this amount of popping and all that sort of stuff. I can't stand this. You know, I've been playing on the PlayStation where I've been getting a really smooth, really crystal clear graphics, all high end stuff, and coming onto this and then seeing this sort of stutter and and struggle like this. I, I kind of feel that this is almost pointless. I might as well play on the best platform possible. There's not much point in me having a PC safe because I've already got a PlayStation save. So I'm wondering whether this might be a pointless exercise, to be honest. And although that I'm saying, yeah, I can revisit all the lore, I can revisit all the lore anyway, just by hitting up wiki pages like I have been doing. So I could just carry on doing that. I still haven't done the lore from underneath the abandoned um, water cabins and things like that. So, yeah, I could just do that. You know, I, I could be wasting my time and perhaps even yours with watching it. I'll see how many views this gets, see if it's actually of interest to people, you know, and also I'm not doing a um, fresh playthrough in the way that I'm just starting the story out, I'm going to do this expedition and then do a fresh save, so I don't even know whether people will want to watch this back even in say like a month's time when this expedition isn't going, so perhaps this has been a wasted exercise doing the expedition all over again. And yeah, like I say, it doesn't look great on the screen does it, you know, it looks like I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. So. Yeah, it, it's one of those. Anyway, let's go dig up these bones. Just get a little bit of extra cashola in the pocket. I was hoping to get a yellow skull, because a yellow skull is like, what, four times as much as any of the other bones or whatever. So, yeah, seeing a bit of tearing going on there too in the actual terrain. 
and the popping is freaking terrible. But yeah, I had all the settings on Ultra, and it was running exactly like... it. Look, actually, it looked really cool, to be honest, in Ultra. Might as well stick it back in Ultra. Right, let's head on over here, and let's head on over there. Come on. Meow. Yeah, in Ultra it was fine. It was just uh, the camera, but then it's not made any difference to the camera, like I'm saying. So, it's one of those. All right, we get there. Come on, come on, come on. Run, literally run. Don't know whether I've got launch thruster fuel in my ship. I might not be able to call my ship to me, which is going to be a little bit of a, a bind, if that's the case. But anyway, this should be enough to get me my uh, wiring looms and to get me some other bits and bobs, hopefully, people. So let's go dig this up. Lovely jobs. Boom. And is that a skull? Nope, it's another jaw. But jaws fetch quite a lot anyway. Oh, what's in the wall? What's in the wall? Give me the what's in the wall. Kapow! It's a yellow bone. Right, fine. Um, was there another one nearby? Oh, there, there's some really nearby. Okay, cool. Um, 257 views that way. All right, cool. That's even closer. Heading over yonder hill. There's quite a lot of bones to be had here, people. So yeah, I'm going to go dig up a load more bones, and I'll be right back with you, peeps. Right, okay, people. Well, I'm back inside of game. Let me uh, just bring them back in. There we are. Boom. And as you can see, I've just upped the quality inside of game. So the textures are all freaking lovely now, people. I guess they are. And the popping seems to be a bit better. Oh, what was that? Was that it? I thought that was a big rumble then. Oh no, it's one of those pumpy plants. Right, well, let's zap him into oblivion. Um, not with my terrain manipulator though. Let's use my hijacked laser. Boom, you're freaking gone, mate. Now, I've got quite a fair few bones. I could dig up one more deposit just to see how the game's running inside of this uh, new swanky mode. Right, where are you? I mean, it's still loading in right now, so give it a couple of seconds. Let's see if it gets a bit better. You're not ancient bones, are you? No barrier technology model module. There's some ancient bones. 500. There's 700. We'll go for those ones then. They're a bit closer. Oh, what about that one on the hill there? 181 years away. That's too good to be freaking true, isn't it? I bet I've already blanking dug them up. If, they, if I have, I'll be freaking gutted. Right, well, let's head on over then. Anyways, it doesn't look like there's a hole there, but you know, there's no man's sky. Right, just swap to my terrain manipulator. Oh, 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 we've got quite a fair few frame drops there, people. And some more. Okay, so maybe having it on high mode isn't the best thing to do. Now, when it comes to Starfield content, though, people, what I'm hoping to do is just do showcases of planets. Like, you know, some nice screenshots and an overview of what's on the planet. But, you know, it's playing No Man's Sky and seeing how much of an issue I've got with No Man's Sky is making me have second thoughts about bringing it to my PC. You know, it's uh, one of those. Oh, 300 years away. You know what? I can't be asked. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go to the station with what I've got here because I'm nearly out of launch thruster fuel on my ship. I'm gonna go up to the station. I'm gonna sell all these bones. And I'm gonna see if I can get myself an advanced mining. I think you get gifted an advanced mining laser, so I think I might just buy whatever I need. In fact, I don't know whether we're gonna go to the station or whether we're just gonna go to the next rendezvous point. Well, I might as well charge up my life support system while we're here. Let's go. Let's take it to the sky zone. Come on, ship. Let's go. Let's go. Boom! Let's take one off. Yeah, I, I think I might have to get an Xbox One if I want to play Starfield. Then again, I don't know whether I'm going to enjoy Starfield all that much yet. So it's it's one of those, isn't it? And it's quite an expense. I could technically trade in on my VR kit and get myself a an Xbox using my VR trading. To be honest, I mean I'm not using the VR too much because it gets too hot in this little room for the VR. So I'm playing VR in my own time, but I'm not playing it a lot. That's always an option. Hmm. Okay, right, let's go to the expedition anyway. Let's pop this. Boom. Grab that. Kapow. Follow the sentence echoes. Etched in the stars. Dilly D. Okay. Well, okay. So we have to do where? Boom. Sentinel echo reharmonized. All right. Well, where? Where, mate? Where? Where, where, where? Okay, so there's an icon over there. We're going there then, people. Heck yes, let's head there. I think this takes us to a colossal archive, if I'm right in thinking. And there should be a galactic trade terminal there. I'm thinking of setting down at the galactic trade terminal 
And then what I might do is put this footage out there for you guys as a premiere, and I put an actual live poll up to say whether you think I should continue with this save or not, or whether I should, you know, give it a bit of a miss and just focus on the outer worlds for now. I think maybe that might be the better choice, to be honest. And then I might, I might do a little vlog of me getting myself an Xbox One. I'm, I'm, I'm actually seriously contemplating trading in my VR setup. For, for the PlayStation, mainly because the VR games just aren't coming out. Uh, it's like I've been holding out for a game for some time now, and it just hasn't come out yet. And that's at Lo-Fi. I really want Lo-Fi. It, it's been you know on the waiting list, and it says that it's coming out, it's coming out, but it, it doesn't come out. It, 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 there's, there's no new news on it or anything like that. I mean, look at this. This, this isn't exactly great on the PC. This, Although I bought this as a gaming PC, it's more for my Streamlab stuff, it's more for my graphics design type stuff and it does all of that, it does all that well so I think this isn't exactly... if I wasn't streaming this would be a perfect gaming PC but because I'm streaming and doing video capture it's not quite where it needs to be I think it would still do the video capture but without me doing all the um, you know the, the webcam stuff Oi! That's my landing pad you freaking roused about now I'm going to land on dirt. I'm going to get my ship all frickin' muddy. And it's your fault, you git bag. Okay, right, fine. Alright, well let's, uh, let's head on up here. Let's go and sell all those bones anyway. We'll see how many units we get. But then I think I'm going to end off. And I'm going to watch this back and take a look at the quality of it itself. I mean, I keep glancing over that way at the laptop to see if there's latency on my camera. And I'm seeing latency left, right and centre, to be honest, people. But this is on the highest ultra graphic settings now, peeps. So sell, and let's uh, sell my bones. Boom! Bones for sale, bones for sale. Lovely, lovely, lovely bones for sale. I might as well sell the Gecko Relic as well. Okay. Bony, bony, bony is. And we've sold all of those. Okay, so buy, and I think I'm going to need myself one of them. Boom! And there's a few things that you need. You don't need that, you don't need that. You need the other two things. Uh, let's head on over this way. Let's see if there's anything for sale over here. Hello there, mate. Yeah, I'm after your hydraulic sort of leg type looking things, if you've got some of them. Uh, so I need... I need one of them. And I need one of them. I, one of them you need two of. So I'm just going to buy two of each, just to be sure. I can't remember which one you need two of. And I'm gonna I buy all three of your wiring looms, mate. There you go. And I buy a couple of microprocessors. There we go. I think that's everything I need to press on with this mission and not get too scuppered. I could do with getting a load of copper before we leave this system as well, people. Anyway, I'm gonna jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save. Um, and before we leave this planet, I will go dig up a shed load of copper. Because we are going to need that to create one of the Atlas seeds at some point. But I'm just going to make a save before I do that. And I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. Like I say, I'm going to end this off. But I want to see what your guys' opinions are. Should I sell my VR? Get myself an Xbox One? And um, yeah, maybe I should just do vlogs of getting my Xbox One up to speed. Before uh, you know Starfield drops in September, people. Let us know your thoughts. Anyway, until next time. Um, I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger on the screen, so let's head on over here. Me, oh me. Chicka pow! And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be ending off. I've, I've finished my cup of tea. No, I haven't. I've got loads left. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's a bit That's a bit nasty, actually. Yuck, yuck, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, people, done, dilly, and done. Salute to Mondo. Thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you next time. When I say I'll see you next time, it could be in the Outer Worlds, because I think that uh, PC No Man's Sky wasn't quite up to scratch, was it? Now, if I did do the episodes of No Man's Sky, what I could do is do the actual video capture without the webcam on and everything else, and it would probably go quite smoothly, because that's how I've done my modded gameplay, and then I've done a voiceover afterwards inside of uh, Power Director, but it took me twice as long to make my videos. Hmm. There's always that. But anyway, people, take care and bye-bye.